mostly on interiors by design, with focus on details and accessories, drama unfolds during the challenge. Some contestants broke one simple rule. I mean, it looks like a mess, honestly. And Zainab comes in second place. Today, the contestants are on a construction site. Stones and hard workers are busy. Get your safety caps. Put it on. Mr. Fawara, MD of AFP Construction, and his assistant project manager, Mr. Hawkins, will take them through critical and important safety measures. Thank you, Engineer Fawara. Thank you. Thank you very and much. Welcome, contestants. Um, welcome to Delenium Properties here at Milverton. Our primary aim today is to make sure that you get home safely to your families. So Delenium operates a very strict health and safety policy. And uh, Mr. Hawkins here, who's the project manager, will actually guide you. He will be your point of contact for everything that you need to do today. Okay, so some very simple ground rules. If in any case we have to evacuate the site, you should immediately go towards the guardhouse, right? The muster point is outside the gate, so everybody should just make their way outside the gate. You will hear a bell, and you must just follow directions from all our staff. The next thing that is even more important is, the minute you walk onto this site, you have become a safety officer, just like myself. Everybody here is responsible for safety. So you must watch out for the person next to you if you see any dangers here. Today you will be going to um, block B and then to block A. You will be guided at all times. Please stay with your guide. Um, you can see today on site most of the activities that are going on are fit out activities, apart from what's happening outside here. So the danger really is make sure you look down and you watch where you're going. The important thing today is to listen out for instructions and follow orders and make sure that uh, we all take you home safely. Okay? Thank you very much. So I'll hand you over to Mr. Hawkins, who will be your guide for the day. Thank you very much. Interior design is not just art. There are also critical rules that must be learned. Everyone seems attentive. We are on the first floor and uh, the enclosure where we are now is the kitchen. And as you can see, everywhere is still there. Like, you have all the services all exposed. You know, before you get to the real finishing, finishing, this is how it all starts from. That's uh, our electrical DB. So this is the point where, when all of this is done, we carry out the testing and confirm that the piping work is okay before we can start covering them up and start with our finishing work. So in a place like a kitchen or a bathroom where you have both, who comes in first? Is it the plumber or the electrician? They work together. Mm -hmm. Both plumber and electrician work together. That's the m and &E, mechanical and electrical services. Because the first thing they have to do is the piping work. Okay. So one does not have to wait for the other. Okay. They work simultaneously. Okay. Going into the living room space. So as you can see, we still have all of those pipes on the floor. All right? Do you notice any difference here? 
on the walls, right? You see, so we've just plastered them. But there are pipes also in the walls, just like we have in the kitchen, but we've already plastered that. You can see over there, okay. we have, that's our gauge level. Okay. So that's the level to which the screen will be placed. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the whole so pipe. For the benefit come. of some people that might not know, what is the screen? The screen is a cement and sand mixture with water that we use to cover the floor before the tiling comes on it. Okay. Uh, that's the screen. The contestants are unaware, but this week they will be given a surprise test. Let's hope they take their lessons seriously. This is one of the bedrooms because what we have here are three bedroom apartments, okay. flats. Okay. Okay. okay, so this this is not the master's bedroom. I don't think so. No, it's not. So as you can see, I don't know if you notice any difference on the floor here. Does anyone notice any difference? Okay. They what? They filled it. All right, so that's it. The pipe work here okay. is still not yet covered. Okay. Those are the piping for the plumbing. We have okay. the PPR pipes and the PVC pipes. Are the pipes okay. different for electrical and plumbing? Uh, yes, they are different. They are like different. I said, it might seem so, basic to yeah, you. Yeah, different you know. pipes. For the electrical, you just need a PVC pipe to okay. run your cables and stuff. But for okay. plumbing, you need higher grade of pipe because of water, water. pressure. Okay. okay. So from here, I not, think. Not uh, yeah, you have the PPRO pipes, those are the pressure pipes. And for a building like this, it's the pressure pipes that you need because you're going to be using high pressure pumps okay. to pump the water up. You see what's on the wall? Okay, this is actually called the blue line. You know, it's for the fittings, like your switches, your, your, your sockets, you know, for interior designing, come on. Aesthetics is very important and okay. your levels are also very important. In this blue line yeah. doesn't mean all the sockets, some sockets will always be below and some always above. Okay. Or what is the real function? Well, it's a reference line, okay? That's our reference line. So from that point, you determine, okay, you want to have your switches 300 above or you want to have your sockets 500 below. So it's a reference line and there's a, a, an equipment that was used to determine that level. So it's an equal level. So we're pretty much done here. If there's no other question, I think we we'll just have to move to the next uh, block. Be careful, please. Please be observant also. We're going up the stairs. Look you down, should be look noticing up, something be different. Yes. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right, be careful. Watch your steps. Okay? Please capture the marble. You see that? Something different about this floor. Okay, so we're here. This is block A. Okay. Floor one, one of the flats. Yeah, this is more finished than where we're coming from, as you can see. So, so here, all the services have been buried in the walls. We don't have any services exposed. Oh, it's tiled. Okay, the floor, you can see it's tiled. It's finished. Then what about the ceilings? You notice? Okay. Okay, so we're moving from the internal space to the balcony space. You can notice there's a difference, can you? So what's the difference? The color and the outdoor tiles, like play tiles. So I said that again, if okay. I they're outdoor tiles, okay. like play tiles. Play tiles. Play tiles. Oh that's good. That that's that's the right word. And clay tiles are mostly used for outdoors, okay? So, why? Um, I thought that it runs because of yeah. water yeah. when it rains, and of course, it will last longer than this, weather so it's condition. a natural material. Yeah. yeah, these are little, little details that you need to take note of, even as an interior designer. 
This is a more finished kitchen. As you can see, all the pipes have been buried in the walls. This is the wash basin. Okay. Does anybody know what this is? Oh, you. No, you're correct. What? That's the gas line. The gas this line. That's the one that goes out. So, Mr. Hawking, what's that? Okay, that. That's the DB. The distribution board. It's an electrical okay. board. This is where all the connections, the electrical connections to the building are terminated. Okay. okay, so we have the fuse there. If there's anything that goes wrong with electrical wiring, this is where they come check. and check. Yeah, this is the back lobby. Okay? This is the service area. For every flat, we have a back door from the kitchen. So for that, we have a back staircase. So if you're going out from the kitchen, you need to use the back door. There's a back staircase, OK? This is our washing area. So for every apartment, for every flat, there'll be a washing machine here. All right, come in. You need to see something Sorry, here. Master bathroom, OK? You can see that all the pipe things be wrong, though some of them are still exposed. Down there, we have, that's where we're supposed to have the bathtub, OK? We have this on the wall. By the time we get to the sample flats, you see all of this finished there. You can understand it better. So we'll see it more in the finished apartments. So today, we've had a look at the different stages of construction, and we've actually experienced the construction site while it was live. We took the contestants from one site where everything was still quite gory and pretty much quite ugly, to be honest, to another um, stage where things are in progress and, as we'd like to say, getting better. All right, we're here. Okay, guys. guys, please come in. This is paradise, isn't it? Okay, wow. Isn't it? Yeah, so this is the final product. You know, it's all finished, furnished, ready to habitate. Guys, let's go check out the master bedroom. Okay, guys. All right? Come on. They're waiting. Oh, please come inside. Okay, that's, that's it. <laughs> So this is the master bedroom, all finished and... Um, Complete. And we can take a look at the bathroom as well? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. It's a place of interest, you know. The master bathroom. Okay, so this is it. So you see how transformed it is here now. <laughs> do you recognize this? You're sure you do from stage one, stage two, and three now? What material is this? Oh yeah, it's tough. Okay. That's a special type of tile. Special? Yeah, it's tile. And it's easier to clean than... Yeah, it is, it is. It is. Wow. Have you used this tile on the floor? On the floor? No, no. It's these, are, right. these are wall tiles. They are wall tiles. They're made for wall no, tiles. So you can't use it on the floor. Okay? This is a concealed system, you remember? Yeah. Okay, so everything it's is in there. It's completely you see. sealed. Yeah, it is. It is. What if you need to change something? Well, what if there's a uh, if you need to change something, we have that. Okay, that's, uh, that's a dot. Okay, apart from that, there's, def there's definitely nothing you need to change it, apart from the system itself, which is this, so you need to pull this out. Then pull it out. So the whole piping is going through there. I can see we have the linear yeah, drainage. Yeah, floor drain. Oh, in the other houses that were not so finished, the fixed yeah. the the houses. I don't think it was linear unless I would have realized where the like the pipes leak on the drainage system. Well, it's the same as if you're using the normal system. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. same. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's That's the just same. where the water goes. Go okay, so it just goes into the thing. floor. This oh, is okay. the collector. It now gathers it there. Okay, so it goes down the same. Yeah. So, so you get to that stage. Yeah. That's when you know when it's. Yeah. Linear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah, we'll go check out the kitchen. Let's now. look at the kitchen. Some things in this kitchen are yeah. really old. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the project was like five years ago. It's old. It's old. No, it's, it's a start. Yeah, it's a traditional start. Everything here is 
that are probably up to the standard. Yeah. And you could just change things like the doors. If you wanted to give it a face, if your cabinet doors, well, that would already immediately change. Well, what would you want to do? I'm just saying, if you wanted to make them more. Okay. Um, like in the, in the new, this is an old design. The new design, like some things are added. Like I saw like some extra um, water supply there. Yeah, the extra water supply? Yeah, yeah. And that corner. And the corner? Yeah. yeah. You saw it yeah. now? No, no, no. The new, the first piece. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we made quite some changes. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. In the layout, we yeah. also made some changes. So maybe at the end of the day, when we're done, we're going to have to come back here and make some changes. Maybe yeah, so. on the fittings, we're going to have to move some of these because in, in the other ones, we've made those changes. changes. Yeah. Okay. So it's been nice having you guys. It's been a great time with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our guest judge this week is the highly esteemed architect, Mr. Tunji Olagunju. My name is Tunji Olagunju. I'm an architect project manager uh, based in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, specialize in uh, architecture of residential, commercial, retail style buildings. Um, I'm, I'm focused on contemporary style buildings, uh, focused on improving the sustainable built environment and ensuring that uh, we create something that will be long-lasting and uh, interesting to look at. When coming to a site like this is essential for any intending interior designer. Uh, they need to see uh, how the journey from the, from the shell building or the client's intentional requirements from the onset, from inception, arrives at handover and the client moving in. Uh, that journey is a long journey. Uh, it's full of obstacles, it's full of all sorts of hazards and uh, perils. You know, and uh, there are always changes and variations along the line. So it's seeing how they can arrive at their destination without losing the core essence of the design. Ah, challenge time. Let's see who was attentive during their brief tour. How was today? <laughs> Don't all answer one. <laughs> it was interesting. Interesting. But it was a long day, right? Yes. Yeah. But did you learn a lot? Do you feel like Yeah, did you learn things that you didn't think you needed to know prior to this? So as you know, no day goes without a challenge. So it's challenge time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Don't look so excited. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, today's challenge isn't so hard. So we're gonna have a quick quiz. Just ten questions. That's all. So question number one. The contestants are given a surprise exam. They're asked to answer questions related to their tour at the construction site with Mr. Hawkins in ten minutes. What is more important than health and safety on a site? And question number 10, what is a gauge used for? Time's up! While the judges mark the tests, our hosts will check in with the contestants to see how they feel. Hi guys, what's going on now? Um, still, we're still here in Tears by Design. Um, today, today we're at the site, it's been, it's been pretty hectic, must have been pretty grimy. So Shion, I mean, today, the site, what's, what's the experience been like? What's, what's, what's it been like though? It's, it's been interesting. Okay, in what sense is that? Um, I learned a lot faces of construction mm -hmm. and interiors um, and also uh, terminologies in project management. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fair enough, fair, fair enough. enough. Um, hi again. Hi. So I mean, seeing how, seeing how hectic, seeing how strenuous, you know, 
the whole site's work is, is, is interior design, is this still something you have a passion for? I mean, this is, this is like the, it's like the Grammy part, it's like the hard part. Is this still something you see yourself, you know, pursuing further and further? Yes, it's something I see myself pursuing. I mean, I think it's too late for me to go back now. It's too late for you to go back. <laughs> yeah, it's too late, man. Like, I've come too far. It's too late. It's just too late for me to start going back now. Too late? Yeah. Too late to go back? I can't say I'm going to be the winner. I can't point out who else is going to be the winner. We just have to wait and see. I think I can win. First of all, I tend to easily adapt to situations. I tend to um, learn quickly. Let's see how things will go. I'll try my best, put in all, my, all I know. And maybe, at least I've, I've gotten into this stage. I passed through the first challenge, so I could still go further. I looked at everybody's um, um, work. They brought out AutoCAD. I don't know how to do AutoCAD. They brought out so many work, their experience and everything, and I was like, I didn't even really have much to offer. I really hope to, number one, win. I expect to do my best, because this is my um, comfort zone in a way, because it's design, and I believe design is relative. So I'm really open to some new ideas that are coming in and I expect to learn and to win especially, yes. Maybe we have, have a challenge that I don't necessarily know about. It, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. And at the end of the day, you might be the person that knew the least, but your work might be what comes out the best. It's not about knowing everything. Hearts beating, let's see the result. Hi guys. Hi. Hello guys. Hello. Good to see you again. So how did you find the test? Tricky. Tricky, good. Yes, tricky. That wasn't anyone's plan. This is for I was that one. Tricky. Yeah. I'll just tell you that uh, we had um, two um, top scorers, and they are Tai Olani Pekun and Ola Wari Felua. Well done, both so, of you. Well done, guys. Mm -hmm. Done. We also have some people who didn't do as well. Yes, you didn't know there was going to be a quiz, but if you didn't answer it properly, it means you were not paying attention. And that could cause much larger damage than you leaving a show. Lekong and Zainab scored the, the least points. So um, we're just going to say Zainab, um, you're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Thank you so much. You guys did awesome. I know it was a really long day walking around and all of that, mm -hmm. but thank you and mm -hmm. back to you. Well done. Good just, luck. just take it as a, a learning exercise. You've learned a lot from this, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, you can you can go further from there. It's I'm very fortunate to have one because the questions were a bit tricky because you are trying to play like a memory game of oh what the person say. I think I know what the answer is. I think I heard this. So it's I just try to follow my guts and my little memory. Um, the irony of it was the lady that won was in the bottom in the last challenge and the lady that lost was in the top the last challenge. Yes, unfortunately I was at the bottom at the last challenge. It feels good to be back in the game. It's anybody's game right now. So you can't be um, technically inept. As a, a successful interior designer, you need a well-rounded body of knowledge. You have to have the balance between the practical side and the aesthetic side. The last two challenges, those are stuff I watch on TV that I pay attention to. It's not like somebody sat me down and explained that this is how it's supposed to be. It's just something I derive pleasure in doing. I wouldn't blame it on the fact that I wasn't feeling too good today, but that I just, I don't have the kind of experience that the other contestants have. Um, with regards to the, the lady that was sent back to the drawing board today, it, it's, you know, it's obviously sad. We're sad to see her go, but we did say at the beginning of this that it is a competition and uh, we do wish her well as, as much as we wish the contestants that are still here well. 
Tune in next week for more exciting happenings on the Interiors by Design reality TV show competition. Share your thoughts on social media with the hashtag Back to the Drawing Board. We would like to hear from you. Follow us on Red TV, Interiors by Design, for more engaging updates.